it's summertime and I have a DIY getting you ready for Christmas for 2018. If it's raining outside, your kids are bored inside, they want to play video games, instead of having them play video games, why don't you get them to do a Christmas project? So here's what I'm going to do. I went to the dollar store, picked up gems, it's 80 in the packet. I went to Michael's, pick up art mirrors. This is what the packet looked like. This is $3.49 at Michael's. I already have um, jewel glue, which I use to repair my own personal jewel. So you can use any kind of glue. Um, you can use your um, glue gun if you have, or whatever, Mod Podge, whatever glue you have sitting around your house, just use that. I'm using this because I know this is what I use for my jewels and it's strong, it's a strong hole. So, yeah. What else do you need? You may need fishing rod wire. And if you don't have fishing rod wire, you can use invisible thread. You can barely see this thread. It's hard to work with, warning. You need good light to work with this thread. If you don't have fishing rod wire or tread, maybe you have ribbon lying around your house, scraps of ribbon. From Christmas, I don't know, maybe you can use this. I'm not using ribbon and I'm not using invisible tread because I have a lot of fishing rod wire. And I'm going to begin. How do I do this? All right, I'm going to work on the mirrors first. This is the right side, this is the back side. All I'm doing, I'm going to take some glue, place the glue in there. Make sure you work on a surface that you're able to spill over glue. What I did is pick up um, that cardboard from the dollar store and put it on my table, my surface. So this way I can protect my table while I do this. And. So a nice rainy day outside today. You're going to cut it to the length that you want. Oh, I forgot. I'm using my kids' crayon scissors. Yeah, they're all grown up now and I'm still using their baby scissors. Anyways, it's safe and it's still working, so why not? Put it together, cover it, squeeze it down, squish it around a bit so it stays. Don't pick it up because it'll fall apart if you pick it up. I don't want to demonstrate it falling apart, but if you pick this up, it'll separate. So don't do that. Just let it sit, put it aside, and let it sit. Let it sit. Check how long your glue takes to dry, and then you can check it when that dry time has passed. Mine takes an hour, so in an hour I can pick this up. The dollar store one, you don't need glue. You just pick up the gem, the gem have a sticky back in. So all you need to do is get your wire or your tread or your ribbon, cut it out, line the ends up, take the gem, turn it over, place it together there. Look, it's stuck. I can actually pick it up. Don't do that though. Turn the other one over, put it on top neatly, squeeze it together. Voila, you're done. See, get the kids to make a couple of these. If your tree is seven foot and a half, I will use 150 in my tree. Uh, sometimes I can go a bit overboard. If I have a lot of time and I make a lot of these, I'll just use them all. I'll probably go for 200 if I could. But yeah, if you have a six foot tree, put 100. Your tree will be nice and sparkly. Just sparse it out inside the tree with your lights. If you have a five foot tree, use 50. If you have a four feet tree, hey, use 100, why not? <laughs> Make the tree really sparkly. <laughs> yeah, but you should use 40. That's uh, the range that I work with. Um, if it looks too sparse in the tree and you wanted more light coming out of your tree and you want it more sparkly, hey, why not up it, go for more. Just don't go over your budget. If you want to spend only $5 for a project, this is the perfect project for $5. If you want to spend a little bit more for $10, hey, your tree will be sparkly, $10, and you're done. 
So I'm doing the last one from this packet. So I already have 80. So I think I'll just do the other packet, but not on camera. Yeah, there you go. So I'll show you how I store them for Christmas. I'm storing them like so. I'm gonna hook them on a wire. I put a ribbon so I know the difference between when I look in from the top of my box how I'll store it, I'll know these are the gems. See, these are the gem ones that I've completed. And I'm storing them in tens. And uh, here are my mirrors. I'm storing the mirrors in 25, so this way I can see them. And I'm storing it with a hook at the top. There. So this is the mirrors. And that's it. Do this project. It takes a couple minutes with the kids. They'll have fun doing it. Have fun. I will s post a video and a picture of the results, but that'll be until the end of the year, close to, uh, well, during Christmas time or maybe December 1st, sometime then I'll be posting that video.